welcome back to Anonymator's Review. Today we're reviewing The Minions, a, a new show, a new movie okay, that's just come out. If, if you've watched Despicable Me <laughs> 1 or 2, you'll know who we're talking about, the little yellow dudes. Um, Emily's, They're everywhere. Yes, Emily will be discussing the the movie. We just watched it, we just got back, mm -hmm. and it's fresh in our minds. So. Yep, yep. Um, I guess uh, you can you can start off. Uh, your, your general feelings of the of the show? Um, it was about what I expected, honestly. It was like, I mean, we were discussing it about how it was like, oh, it, it did what it needed to do. It was fun. It was entertaining. It was, as I've begun to call it, uh, the uh, shut up your kids for two hours movie mm. kind of movie. Um, like, it was entertaining. I didn't... There was nothing about it I despised. It. There was nothing despicable about it hmm? no <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just give me that look <laughs> you gave me this weird like Ooh, look so <laughs> yes um yeah i mean like yeah yeah it was it was about what i expected it was fun it was entertaining the characters were cute and all hmm. um yeah, I don't know. It wasn't over. It was. It was very underwhelming, I guess. And it was. It, it, it was incredibly like. It was very fast paced. I don't know if you got that same feeling, where it's like, okay, they're we're gonna tell the entire history of the minions, hmm. and now they're depressed, and now they're in New York, and now they're in England, and now they've met this character, and 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 uh, yeah, there there was a whole lot of like. There was just, it was like, okay, now we're here, now we're here, now we're here, now we're here, the end. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, the, the, the way it was written, it definitely felt like um, it wanted to just get some jokes out. Yeah. You know, and like like the way I was describing it earlier, in you know, <laughs> off, off the air, how I, it, it's basically, it's it's the summer movie, it, the summer movies are out, mm. um, and you know for the most part like there's some good stuff and there's some mediocre stuff but this is one of those movies that it's not going to like win any major awards i don't mm. think um maybe something out of popularity because those minions apparently are crazy popular oh, i yeah. never i never thought they were that popular i mean i remember seeing shirts here and there and and obviously toys and i, I get it they're very toyetic but they I, to 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 garner a, its own whole movie i didn't see that coming but um, it you haven't been living in North America for as long as I have. <laughs> no, I mean I, I get the I get the culture of 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 making money off of everything. I get it. I I know I understand it. I get why it's done. Um, and the artists behind it, uh, like I mean they get they get given the paintbrush and then they have to do what they can with mm. it. You know, it's it's pop culture schlep. That's what it is. But it's. It's better than what used to be done with that same attitude. Mm. You know, where it was like, oh, we've got the minion. I mean, we haven't got an Olaf movie yet, at least. <laughs> you know, um, the snowman from Frozen. It's, it's, I, I, I wouldn't, you know, but I mean, when you, when you look at the stuff, like if you look at, um, it's usually, usually like minions, you would have, I would have actually expected a TV series. Hmm. You know, um, think of the penguins in Madagascar. Mm. They had their TV series before the movie. Um, I'm trying to think of some other examples. There's King, King Julian, Julian, yeah, which um, I haven't Puss actually seen, but yeah, Puss in Boots has got like, and so I would have like that's what I would have sort of taken for. I would have thought, oh, they they would have brought out a a a little kids TV show <laughs> because hey, that's what they. But I, I uh, when the movie came, you know, out um, was announced, I was like, oh, okay. I'll, I guess I'll go watch it. I li I, I like Despicable Me one. Mm. Um, I thought it was interesting. Um, it's definitely of illusion, uh, Illumination Entertainment's films. Definitely, I think Despicable Me has the most. Like, it definitely was the most beloved out of the. It was a very weird title. I felt Despicable Me. Yeah. Like you know, why not call it Gru or whatever? <laughs> but I mean, hey, I whatever. I'm not running the show um despicable me uh the the movie when it came out um i mean it, w it was really weird because you're rooting for a bad guy mm. right and he's because he's just fighting against another bad guy it's, a, <laughs> it's like an antagonist versus an antagonist and mm -hmm. you're like okay 
Um, and, and even in Despicable Me 2, when he... And, I mean, look, if this, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil warning for this. Those movies have been out for, like, two, two to four years, respectively. Um, well, respectively. Two years for... What, two, 2013 was yeah, Despicable that was, Me 2 and 2011... That was... That was one of the first films we saw together before we were we got together. We just <laughs> saw it as it was like, "Hey, Despicable Me Two's out. Do you want to go see it with me?" And I'm yeah. like, "Okay." I just like watching movies, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to do the review on those two movies, but I don't know when we'll get to them. Well, we've I got a whole bunch of other movies we want to get through first. Uh, yeah, and we're still waiting for suggestions from people if they want us to if they want to hear anything about it. If not, we'll just keep watching the stuff yeah. we want to watch. Yeah. But um, yeah, the, like when you say the movie was very fast paced, it was there was definitely because I've, I've I've developed this eye now for like I see how things are shot scene to scene, mm-hmm. like because because when you're when you're an animator you animate scene to scene you know you're like okay I have a scene it's like ten seconds and I'm animating the scene and so now I'm I'm seeing things like that I'm like. I'm like, okay, that's a scene. And, and and because of that, I'm also not judging each scene by itself. You know, how well does it do without the rest of the thing? Mm. And then how do, how well does the, like, those then think, those pieces that work together. And then, and you always, then you start paying attention to, like, possible, um, like, jokes that will be reused throughout the thing, uh, throughout the movie. And, yeah, I, I think it, the movie didn't do that. It didn't do a lot of callback humor. Mm. I, I, I don't know if you can prove me wrong I don't I couldn't recall seeing any of it there was no like oh I I did this thing I mean I suppose the banana but I mean that was just because they've always been known to love bananas yeah um but yeah there was no like callback humor it was pretty much like oh we just have it's 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 like they had a pile of jokes (laughs) that they wanted animated to and so then they just wrote a script around those pile of jokes because like a lot of the jokes were you could see them coming a mile away yeah you know I mean like the Abbey Road joke mm. um, it was like you're in England and you're going to Abbey Road and you've made a hundred other music jokes before I wonder what joke you're going to make type <laughs> of thing you know I mean I saw the Jimi Hendrix jokes quote unquote I mean they're not jokes they're just like they were more like a lot of references mm-hmm. um, and yeah, yeah it's and I, I don't know if this world of Despicable Me is supposed to be set sort of in our our world or if it's supposed to be set in some sort of weird alternative universe because I mean like again the Queen of England who was like Kung Fu master type thing not <laughs> Kung Fu but she was like a, a fighter yeah um you know and or uh I mean, just the villains having like this crazy high tech technology, mm. you know, in in like this in the sort of sixties era, where even Gru in Despicable Me One, even though he had high tech gear, it was it was still very pollutiony type of stuff. Whereas like the other villain in Despicable Me One had like a, um, you know, like a weird hover jet. Oh yeah, thing, yeah. Thing and 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 Gru had like that thing that just bellowed out pollution. <laughs> um, I I just yeah I don't know I, I'm not entirely sure what exactly. Like I mean, it obviously is an alternate reality because the minions exist and people recognize the minions and they've been knighted. I, I don't know. I don't know if like, um, like in the because in the beginning of the film, people it seems like the only people aware of the minions are the people that they serve. Yeah, but I mean, look at the end of this movie. Well, I which I, we're not talking... we're not spoiling anything, folks. But I mean, they get recognized by everybody. Well, like sure. there's a whole parade in their name. Well, sure, but I mean, before the movie, before the the events of the movie take place, not including the the origin scenes, which, if I may say, that actually kind of freaked me out when I found out that they've been existing for like all of time. Because mm-hmm. if like if I was just to go on the lore of Despicable Me One and Two, I would have said Gru created them in his lab, mm-hmm. which to me actually makes more sense that there well, wasn't it sort of implied that was the case like I'm, I think that was kind of where they were going originally which yeah. would explain why they're all named Kevin and Bob and they're basically like they're just they're they're the same organism but with like slight variations between them yeah right like um so the fact that they've created this whole other lore for this a, you know, admittedly multi-billion dollar 
uh, franchise, not even Despicable Me, but the Minions. Mm. You know, like, forget Despicable Me. Like, who cares about those guys? Let's yeah. let's mass market the easy to draw, easy to sell, uh, yellow yellow pill like things. Mm-hmm. So, which I get. I'm not. I'm not like saying that it's wrong for them to say. I'm just saying within the world of Despicable Me, it was just sort of weird to find out that these things were not in fact created in a laboratory mm. and i i mean i guess for the sake of the movie i can see where they were trying to go but i don't yeah know. it's not uncommon for a lot of these type of things to like retroactively create their own history mm-hmm. but yeah I, I i i was when i first saw the trailers and they were like oh look at and there was a lot given away in the trailers like mm. that whole beginning sequence of the like you know them going through the different villains you know the the dracula yeah, and yeah. The napoleon like they gave away that entire intro sequence they really did it was like the first what was it it was the first like uh 10 minutes of the film was just the trailer yeah yeah the, the ten, yeah it was the, the those that first 10 minutes was condensed into 2 minutes into a 2 minute trailer if not less yeah, and, and, thing... and all the jokes, I mean, it, it was just a little bit extended, like the T-Rex sequence, right? I mean, yeah. in, in the trailer, it's like the T-Rex rolls down, and then they bump into him, and then he falls. Whereas in the extended, in the movie version, it was like, he just rolls down the hill for a bit longer, you know? And... I think the only scene that was added in the movie that wasn't in the trailer was, like, the actual, like, when everything is a single-cell organism, mm. and... It's just these little yellow organisms with one or two eyes, and they see, like, the other organisms eating all oh, that, of the that other... that little 2D animation intro sequence? I did like that. Yeah. There was actually... There, there is, artistically speaking, there were a lot of little, like, artistic sequences that they did. Like, I mm. think there was... I don't know if it was, it was stop motion or if it was, like, 3D, but shot in stop motion... Um, cause they, I mean, they do that now. That's what the Lego movie was, essentially. It was stop motion, but in 3D. Okay. So it's like... Well, how they do that, um, it's, it's, it's not stop motion per se. It just looks like stop motion. What they do is they shoot it at like a higher frame rate or something, and then they just take frames out. Or it's the other way around. They shoot it at a lower frame rate. I can't remember exactly, um, the details, but yeah, they, they shoot it at a different frame rate. Mm Mm-hmm. Um... And then they and then they play it and then it looks like it's stop motion. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's just moving in proper in the, in the way you would animate it. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm gonna say that it was probably too cumbersome to actually build entire sets for this one. Like, what the scene was like a minute. Mm. It, it was probably too expensive, so they probably just built a bunch of 3D sets and gave them textures and shot it like stop motion. So mm. I'm gonna guess that was what it was. Um, because it was probably too expensive to do all to build these miniature sets and these miniature rigs, these miniature little stop motion figures for this one scene. Um, yeah, but there was also that one thing with Scarlet Overkill, the the main villain, mm-hmm. and like in it, it's yeah, uh, <laughs> it's yeah. So that what was it? The she one? she was also like. <sighs> Like, it, it, she just felt like, um, just, I, I didn't know, she wasn't important. Um, yeah. you know, it was like, it was, a, a lot of, like, the pieces of the film, I felt, were just, like, these little things, like, little ideas that they, they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I liked the dynamic between the, the Scarlet and her husband, the, the evil genius. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked that, but, you know, she, she, yeah, she's a very throwaway villain. Obviously, she never makes a comeback in one or two and in, in Despicable Me one or two but it, it's like and I mean I would imagine she's a lot older too at that point because I mean Gru's like a, like a like a super little kid yeah. in this whereas which if I may I'm actually severely disappointed I feel as though there was a very missed opportunity for more character development between the minions and Gru mm. because what I actually was hoping would happen and I mean, this was too much to expect, but, like, I, I really think that this would have made a stronger film if 
instead of like, okay, we're gonna follow this villain, and oh, it's not what we wanted, oh, she doesn't want us as our min- as minions, so we're gonna go with Gru now, like, and I mean, that's not really spoiling anything, right? Mm. Like, well, it's okay, I'll put, I'll put a mild spoiler warning on the, on the, on the warning, so... Okay, but yeah, like minus, but, uh, yeah. But I mean, like, I mean, if you've seen Despicable Me one, you've already yeah. We're, we're not giving anything away. Um, I mean, we're just saying like it, nothing that the trailer hasn't really given away. Yeah. You know, it's 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 these things, and and that's what's that's it, this is this movie suffers from uh, that 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 I don't know what I need to come up with a name for it like traileritis <laughs> or something, because that happens a lot in sort of these type of movies where oh we'll give away all the jokes in the trailer to attract the audience, and when the audience comes. There's not that many extra mm. jokes, and there are one or two extra little things here and there, but nothing that like. I, I, and I don't want anybody to think this is a terrible movie. Mm-hmm. You know, I I will say this: it does what it needs to do. Yeah. It distracts kids for an hour and a half, two hours. It distracts you from whatever worries you in your life you know whether it be work or the, your inevitable death it's it stops you from thinking about that for, for a few hours it's not going to win any awards yeah. it's not going to win anything amazing it's um the there's the the thing the good things i can say about it are the animation's nice yeah you know the you can definitely see there was a lot of like fun put into the animation. You can definitely tell with pretty much the entire film that you know it. It was a lot of fun. I think. I think. A, I think. Probably going out on a limb here, but I think people had fun doing this. I. I would. It. It didn't. Yeah. It doesn't look like a labored. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into it. I don't want anybody to think that animation's easy, <laughs> but it didn't. It didn't look like. You know, we're not talking about a like a film here or. Um, you know, it was okay. We've got our models. We we do the animation, um, and 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 they and they did it. You know, like if if I think even of Penguins of Madagascar, there was um, like that that squid. He was like oh, yeah. really crazy animated squid, octopus, whatever he was, and I liked him a lot. Mm-hmm. I like I liked him. That was like, really the only thing I really loved about that movie. Um, whereas with with this. You know, I mean, I, Scarlet like has all this potential as well to be this character, this this villainess, but it's like you can a lot of her, the stuff that she does, you can see coming because it needs to be told in that mm. order. But I'm looking at it from not only an animator's view, you know, like a person who's in the industry's viewpoint, but also from a person who's watched a lot of movies in his life, and. You know, so it's like, I can see him like, okay, she's obviously going to do this. She's, you know, and she does these things that you expect because it's, it's to the book. It's, it's, yeah. it plays, it's a very safe movie. It plays by the rules, you know, um, even though everybody's a quote unquote bad guy, there are obviously some good guys, mm-hmm. you know, um, there's like, there's like the, uh, yeah, this world is very strange because it's like, we've got these, they, there's like a bunch of these super villains but then there's like the super villains and then the super villainy, I guess. Like, like the the, the villains. Well, even in Despicable Me One, there's like there's Gru and you like and you obviously support him because he's the main character. Yeah. And then there's the the other kid in that the, the kid in the jumpsuit and then even the I bank manager. I think his manager. name was Vector. Yeah. yeah. Um. And like they, they're obviously super evil. Yeah. It's... Like they're more evil than Gru, and then so you obviously support Gru because I guess you're still <laughs> supposed to sympathize with the the main character. Mm-hmm. And they do that here too. I mean, it's like it's it's they they introduce Scarlet as cool and kick ass and not really a villain. Mm-hmm. I, I it's it's a very childish way of looking at villains. And and I and I'm not saying a childish in, in, like in a negative connotation like oh you're acting childish or you're creating something childish. No, it, it's 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 obviously aimed at children. Like sure, the yeah. The, oh, look at the bad guys. Oh, they're silly, but they're obviously, they can't be super evil. I mean, I remember reading something about this show where they purposely stopped the minions at a certain era Mm -hmm. so that they wouldn't help Hitler. Wow. Yeah, so in the movie, like, like what, it was like Napoleon? They stop, after Napoleon's conquest, they stop sort of doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember the exact date when that was. Um, When did you guys get your independence? Americans. Oh, did I put you on the spot? Um, well, the, basically, um, you know, like you, it, it, it's they, they just after sort of Napoleon's war, 
Um, because I because I just know that the Napoleon War was before or during your guys' settling of independence, and um, and that it was part of like why you guys did your independence is because England demanded you pay for that war. I I remember. Uh... I remember that well, was the whole anyway. Yeah, this going. is not this is not history show. This is this <laughs> is talk about movie show, and so yeah, I, I read that that they they obviously didn't want the minions helping Hitler because if you think about it, yes, like if if they seventeen seventy six yeah, There's so around a, about the seventeen hundreds, and so that for two hundred years, I guess the minions were. I didn't want to say it and then be wrong. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. I I didn't know, so I knew I I was actually thinking sixteen hundreds, but um, no. I, I remember it was 17-something, and I was like, ah, oh, there's a rhyme, I forgot it. <laughs> it's one of those things, you say it, and then it immediately goes out of my brain. <laughs> well, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm sure the other patriotic Americans will come off you. <laughs> you didn't remember! <laughs> Listen, I never, there was like, a, there's like a rhyme... That oh, you you couldn't ask me exact dates with my South African history, so... So I if, mean, I don't told, f- if I asked you when South Africa was founded, you wouldn't be able to... Mm, no, not off the top of my head. Yeah. I mean, I know it was also relatively... It was like two, three hundred years ago, but nothing... I, I couldn't be like, this exact date. Um, also, I learned all this stuff in like the fifth grade. And also, South Africa's history is a little complicated when it comes to being founded, because it's not... Like, we weren't founded, we just kind of settled... <laughs> it was like guys came and they were like, "Oh, we're gonna set up this this trading post," and then they left. And then they came back later and they're like, "Okay, we're just gonna set up some farms." And then they left and they came back later and then like the farmers were like, "No, screw this. We're just gonna do our own thing." I think a lot of the people who settled in South Africa were just trying to get away from the 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 city life mm-hmm. type of thing or like the growing. You know, they just wanted to be left alone. Anyway, sorry again, not history. <laughs> um, just trying to make Emily feel good that. It's okay to not know your exact dates. I don't think dates are really I've as important. I've never been good at Unless dates. you are a history buff. Yeah, I mean, it's I just, can, as long I as you ex- remember the history, I think that's the yeah, important Yeah, I, exp- like, I can explain, I can explain um, events and stuff. And I mean, I was, I was just discussing with you about how much I love the 60s mm. and how much I know about the 60s and, like, what was happening at the time, but, you know. Yeah. Which of the richest movies, like, set around it. There was a song, though... They, I think they played a Doors song, and I don't think Doors was that prevalent in the 60s. Um, I, I wouldn't know. I wasn't around. <laughs> well, neither was I, but <laughs> I would imagine... Where's my dad when... He's such a big music... My dad is a huge music fan, um, so he would probably know better than I would, like, what music was popular in the 60s. Yeah, it, it was It was just... Um, there, there has to be, uh, I guess, I mean, having a quick look here on, on the wikis, they they were pretty much established around about, like, 1965. Okay. Yeah, they were formed in 1965. And so this movie took place in, like, 69 or something? Yeah, it was, well, yeah, they, I mean, there was the whole moon landing sequence that they did Oh, there, too. right, right. Um, they made a joke about the moon well, landing. Yeah, don't give it away. <laughs> but um, it's, it's yeah, so, they, they, but that's basically what it is. There's, there's a lot of these little jokes in the movie that are just strung together and then there's a mm. plot to put over it and it feels like that. Yeah. You know, it's, um, and I mean, I have, I have a similar feeling with the SpongeBob movie. Um, and, 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 and in a time where we are right now where sitcoms and TV are so strong, I don't know why they did it this way. Mm. Did, did they not have enough, I guess, to make a TV series that they were like, okay, well we have enough for a movie. I, I just imagine I would just imagine like for the budget that you could make a TV series and then you could make a, a, a better TV series than one movie or at least you know the I can't kids imagine more interested. I can't imagine that they would have because like I, I think I think the reason that they wrote a prequel because I was thinking about this like why did they write a prequel to the minions as opposed to a sequel and then you realize there's no like real conflict. Mm. It's literally just you know. yeah. I mean, and even 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 towards the end, when because I think since you kind of know a little bit of, about the, the the minions' future before going into this, you don't you know that they're not going to die. Yeah. So there's nothing bad going to happen to them because yeah. they have two movies coming up that they have to be in because we've seen them already. Mm-hmm. Um, and and so you're not worried. You're like, oh, okay, they're just going to have. In fact, there's goofy a Despicable fun. Me three coming out. So yeah. So. 
And, I mean, I, did Despicable Me 2 do so well that they needed a 3? I don't... I, I can't imagine... No, no, it did. Remember, it was one of the highest grossing films of 2013. Oh, on, well, the top three. Yeah, it was, it was the like third the, the third top grossing... Okay, okay, fair enough. Um... I guess there we go. I mean, it, it's it's <laughs> when it comes to the film, it's it. I feel personally, it doesn't do anything brave or new. It mm. it's 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 a summer movie that's there to distract you. That is my rating right there. I, <laughs> I have I have nothing good or bad to say about this film for yeah. for the sake of of a of a review. I my, have a couple of nitpicks actually. Mm-hmm. Um, first one is that. Uh, so the first one, I really feel there was a missed opportunity here where, like, um, so I guess this is a pretty major spoiler where, but I guess not really. I mean, you can kind of see it. If you watch the movie, you can see it coming from a mile away. Well, the, I mean, how much of a spoiler I mean, are you giving away? A joke or major plot point? Uh, it's, it's more of a plot point, but what I wanted to happen can was... Can you talk around it? Yes, I can. Uh, watch me. Um, <laughs> what I wanted to happen was I wanted the minions and Gru to meet sometime during the film. Okay. Like, I wanted that to be part of the plot. All right. I think... How would how would you have... Because obviously that doesn't happen, so how would you have done something like that? Do you think you can give I an think, example? I think maybe if, like... Um, like, I think instead of Gru showing up at the very end of the film, I think if he was just to, like, okay, the... Uh, the three major uh, minions, what were their names? Bob Stewart and yes, yeah, Stewart, Kevin. Kevin, and yeah, Bob. Uh, so Bob Stewart and Kevin are. It's like, oh no, we're in trouble. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna get out of this. And all of a sudden, Gru shows up as freaking Deus Ex Machina, <laughs> <laughs> and be like, oh, I'm a super villain, and let's go s- save the day. But not really, because we're villains. Mm-hmm. You know, like I think that would have. That, that wouldn't have been a a major blockbuster, but I think that would have made the plot a little bit better. I think it would have at least established much earlier on in the film about how, like, okay, this is how the Minions and Gru had, like, they, they, they formed a trust with each other. I think mm. that would have been a much Oh, I see what you're saying. So, so, yeah, like, instead of just... A weird minion adventure where it's before they've met Gru altogether. Like you're saying, at some point in the film, maybe that they find and meet Gru, maybe even join forces and then go through some actual struggles together. Yeah, because that way, because I mean, we've seen in the film that these minions are quite incompetent. So, why? So, you know, my question is that, that, uh, well, then why is it that Gru is different? Why is it that Gru just sort of accepts them as part of the family. Yeah. Well, from what I could tell in the in the first two Despicable Me movies is that he accepts them because they're really good at following orders and 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 building stuff. Mm. It's like they're they're good at building, they're good at doing the stuff that he asks them to do. Like as long as they've got a direction, it seems that they they're then kind of competent. But but then it but I mean that doesn't cuz I'm sure cuz it grew Gru and Scarlet are not the only villains that they've served. They've served many villains, so... Yeah, I mean, the only the only person that looked like, though, in the history of the villains that they've served is Napoleon's, like, the only one who looked like he actually... Because, I mean, Vlad or, or Dracula, like... I don't know. I mean, you don't you don't see anything, so it's, it's very hard to sort of say. You can only mm. speculate. But, yeah, they, they didn't really... I mean, the T-Rex they followed because, oh, he was just yelling and <laughs> eating things. And that's what they were doing, you're saying, that, that that whole intro sequence was yeah. just sort of following the the next biggest creature that was eating and causing problems. Um, like, I can accept an entire race of beings that just, you know, their only purpose in life is to serve, you know, the biggest, baddest villain, quote-unquote. You know, sometimes I think in an alternate, like... You could basically do the same thing with the minions, except they were serving the good guys, but because from their origin they saw the big bad one-celled organism eat all of the other one-celled organisms, they were like, ooh, shiny. Mm. So, <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, I, I guess you 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 want to give it to the bad guy, because you want the, the bad guy to be 
have some reason to be inept or unsuccessful. Yeah. And I mean, and, and I mean, like, but obviously they have to follow the bad guy because they were in Despicable Me 1, mm. right? So they have to be, and as as I just, you know, as I just showed you, the only reason that they exist in the first Despicable Me movie was because they wanted to make uh, Gru a more sympathetic character. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they just exploded in popularity, and here we are. Yeah, that, this is definitely one of those accidental popularity things. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Illumination planned this. Mm-mm. I think it was just uh, let's put silly yellow things and yeah, well, minions. We need a minion. This is easy to sort of replicate and make. And I mean, from what we've we've seen, the original concepts for the minions what were like orcs. Yeah, like they were grumpy. like giant orc characters. Yeah. And then eventually they were supposed to be even human minions, and then they were like, no, let's make this, because this is a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, and, ju- and obviously... It turns, it turns obvi- out they didn't have the budget to do it. <laughs> but obviously these, these designs were... They were made to also... Because they were like, okay, look, make them cute to make them smaller or whatever, and they're like, mm. okay, here, here's a simple design. That's what it was. It was a circle with an eye on it. Yeah. And, and like, little legs and arms. And and, and then so they... And their personalities shine through and they're because that's what they are they're like these little blank slates that Mm. can have unlimited personality you know you can throw whatever you want on there so any minion can be any one of us like our attitudes yeah yeah and i think that's what makes them so alluring or people like them so much and i think it's i do think it's foolhardy foolhardy to hate on these things because what i think what people are (laughs) hating on i think what people are hating on is the success of such a simple design and and it's like well that's not people's fault people like we ha- we've latched onto something and we like people like what they like mm-hmm. you can bitch and complain about it as much as you want but that's that's how it is it's, it's there was actually um did i ever show you the the uh what was it the um there was actually an ideas channel uh no i think i sh- did show it there was an ideas channel um a video we'll have to put links in the description because I think it was really good um basically talking about the the same argument that people have been having for years which is like if you're to if you're to publicly go on a public forum or a public website like Twitter or Facebook or just any kind of public sphere mm-hmm. to voice out your hate of the minions what you are actually doing like the, I mean, the the video questions. Well, aren't you actually feeding more into the popularity? Mm-hmm. Because you know, uh, all press is good press, kind of thing. I would also argue that the attitude would be um, because, I've, like I've spoken to you about, like on completely different subjects. When somebody has something that they like or want to do or believe in, mm-hmm. it's very hard to come in and be like, "Oh, you're stupid for believing or thinking <laughs> that way," and then having them, "Oh, right, yes, maybe I am stupid in thinking that way." And it, and then and having them change their minds, that's virtually impossible. So yeah. when somebody likes the minions and you come up to them, you're fucking stupid for liking the minions. Um, I think we've got more of a defiant society, whereas maybe a couple of years ago, 10, 20 years ago, people would be like, yeah, minions are stupid, you know, yeah. shifty eyes. Where now it's like, no, fuck you, I like my minions. And then <laughs> there'll be like a, you know, now I'll like them even more. I'm going to buy like a hundred things just to prove to you that they're actually pretty cool. Like, yeah. why do I need to like what you like type of mentality and so yeah i don't i i think yeah i think just shouting and, and hating on stuff and then and, and it's not just minions it's anything hating on things yeah for the sake of hating on things um i i've seen it i've seen it a lot i i, I feel it's any fandom i mean i remember yeah. with the final fantasy fandom i was part of that and like up until i think final fantasy th- t- 10 Ten and ten two was pretty much when I kind of stopped being into Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, like, and it, well, well, sorry to, to wrap that up. It's okay. like, yeah, yeah, you like there were people there would also like, ah, you guys are stupid for liking JRPGs type of thing, and people who like JRPGs in general. Really, it's more about that, and and so that that's what this is. You you're you're crying against something that it's not you're not you crying against it is not really going to make a difference it maybe really, what will happen sorry sorry <laughs> let me just get these thoughts out it's just maybe what's going to happen is you cry against it and it's going to stop eventually that's what happens yeah because but it's going to stop if you don't cry anyway but the thing is is that you're gonna you know you're gonna hate on the thing and it's gonna stop but then the next thing 
is going to be there to hate on. Yeah, and like, then you're going to hate on that too, and it's like, what's that going to help? Sometimes I even like. You know, I've even fallen into this trap where it's like, I don't actually hate the thing that I say I hate. I just only hate it because it's cool to hate on the thing that's popular. I, I, I get into the other sort of thing where I hate, I love a thing and then I hate it when it becomes popular. But because of the attitude of the people, like the, like one of the, big, the biggest reasons why I didn't support the Xbox and the, and the 360 was the people who introduced it to me were big jokes about it, mm. you know? And even now, like, to this day, like, I find people who are pro-Xbox tend to be the jerkier out of, say, the Xbox PS3 odd crowds. And, again, then both PS3 crowds and, and Xbox crowds are, like, hardcore dicks <laughs> against Nintendo fanboys. <laughs> but then they'll say the other way. They'll be like, yeah, Nintendo fanboys are dicks to us. And it's like, well, I haven't seen that personally, but if that's your experience, I mean, it, it gets really mm-hmm. tough, right? And, and if that's your experience, you're going to support your... Um, thing too so i get like that um i was never into and i also get very sort of um like annoyed when especially i'm like oh you should like this thing this thing is interesting and then nobody pays attention to it oh, yes. but then it hits like a popularity and i hate being that guy i hate i hate the statement i liked it before it was popular that's not what i'm trying to say i'm not trying to say oh now that it's popular i don't want to like it anymore i i, I that's just that's just a, sh- a shitty symptom of what happens what I'm saying is, I'm annoyed at you for liking this only now because everybody else is liking it. When five years ago, I knew you would have liked it if you just gave it a chance. Mm-hmm. And and that's what, what annoys me. So, I get that. Yeah, so, but I've, I've sort of stopped that, that attitude over the last couple of years. I don't really get that way anymore. Um, so, when it comes to this, I feel no need to hate on the minions. Because yeah. as far as entertainment goes, it's entertaining. It's got some funny moments. It's... It's fun to watch. It's nice to sort of just sit and, and stare at this at the flickering screen for a while. Yeah. Um, on the negative side, I don't think I'll ever watch it again. Yeah. I could. I will live my. I if I never saw it, I would. I would have been happy. Mm-hmm. It's like there's no. I don't think there'll be ever be a review saying go see this movie, and. I mean, the only positive thing I could really say that, like, I, I liked a lot of the animation. I thought the animation was really smooth and there was a lot of, like, goofy stuff, though I would have liked to have seen a lot more squash and stretch considering the characters. I, I think it was trying to keep... It was... Because... This being bound in reality? No, I was going to say it was more, like... I, I don't know. It felt very... Like, the animation style felt like Despicable Me 1. Like, mm-hmm. I think it was just trying to keep consistent. Yeah. Well, the designs are nice, though, at least yeah. of the characters. I mean, I even like the old Sandy Bullock's character, um, uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Overkill. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed about... I don't know. I, I feel like her character could have been fleshed out more. Mm-hmm. It felt very flat. It felt very quick. It was like... Yeah, she, she was very two-dimensional. Which really sucks, because in the first, like, ten minutes of the film, I really liked her. You you get excited, yeah. I I was like, yeah, this is going to be such an interesting new character, and not really. Yeah. I mean, everything she does, you kind of see coming. But from a kid's point of view, I would imagine she's interesting and and cool, and, and, Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, she's got a rocket dress, so why the heck not? (laughs) Which is awesome, Mm. by the way. Um, But, yeah, I don't know. It's... It's underwhelming. So, yeah. I don't know. I Like, if if you love the Minions, yeah, definitely go see it. If you're not really a fan, it's not really worth your time. That's pretty much my attitude, too. So, I would give this movie a one banana out of two. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, go see well, it. Don't go it? see it, pretty much, is my what I'm saying. You called them boopity boopity <laughs> Minions. Boopity boop Minions. Because <laughs> you couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, compa- I was saying, like, Minions, and then... Like, yeah, like, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I wasn't talking about these minions. I was talking about minions as in people who work for, like, as stronger evil creatures. Or, yeah, yeah. Not even that, like, it was just, like, like we were playing a video game and I called them minion monsters because, like, basically your, the, the characters that, like, the incidentals, like your Goombas and your Koopas and your, mm-hmm. or, or whatever, the things you jump on and kill in one shot, like, those are your minion creatures. And that's what you call them. At least I hope that's what you call them. I'm starting to doubt myself. <laughs> oh, well. Boopity boopity boops. Boopity boops. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up. Um, you know, if you guys care <laughs> about, like, our, our, our overview of the, of the film. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find um, more 
information on us at the Anonymators, Anonymators. YouTube channels. Right? Uh, we're the Anonymous Animators. Yeah, the Anonymous Animators at YouTube. Um, you know, if you want to listen to us through that, or uh, we, we're on Tumblr, um, which is Tumblr. Anonymators. Anonymators.tumblr.com. I think it's anonymators.tumblr.com. Didn't I say that? I think you said anonymous. No, you did. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> anonymators.tumblr.com. You can just... And that's pretty much... I just dump all the, the channel stuff there. Mm -hmm. Anything from YouTube. Um, maybe we'll actually start posting other stuff. And maybe even show notes at some point. Ooh, that'd be good. And then... Uh, we're on iTunes now. Oh, yes. We're finally on iTunes. So you'll get... I, I'll put this episode definitely a couple weeks later on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Just to sort of avoid the spoiler. But, I mean, we barely gave any spoilers, so... Um, but I'll put a mild, mild spoiler warning on there. Okay. Okay, and I guess we'll start heading out with this wonderful song that's playing right now that we can totally hear. <laughs> and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Good night. Later. They call me mellow yellow. Quite right, sleep. They call me mellow yellow. Quite right, sleep. They call me mellow yellow.